Boom! What is up, Wanders? We're back. It's time for another One Take Bag Review, and today we've got another sling from Air. Uh, this is an incredible company. We've seen a lot of their products on the channel. Please make sure you check out those previous videos. Um, I wanted to review this tech sling. It kind of fits midway in the different size slings that they have at Air. They've got a lot of smaller, the, the day sling lineup, the new Go sling. Um, they've got the larger slings, the travel sling, um, and this is kind of right in between, the tech sling. Um, it's focused on a minimalist tech carry, and I'm excited to get into it with you. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews, and we're going to do a full walkthrough of the outside of the bag, the inside of the bag, and then we're going to talk about two things that we love about this bag, and two things, eh, not so much. Let's get started. All right, so first off, you've got a really slick nylon face on this bag. Uh, it's really pleasing to look at, incredibly well made. Um, YKK zippers throughout the back of the bag and the underside of the bag are both this kind of uh, 1080, I think, Cordura, like really beefy, um, very, very nice material. Uh, looks like it's gonna hold up forever. Uh, this is, I think, the only colorway for this bag. I, I have not seen an X-Pac version. Uh, Air does make X-Pac versions of a lot of their different slings, so maybe that's coming with the Tech Sling 3. Who knows? Uh, but uh, you've got a grab handle on top. You've got a really nice, uh, uh, very, very padded strap. And you can see, it kind of sits midway along your back, very comfortably. It's coming off um, at kind of a messenger style um, top carry here instead of um, midpoint and top, uh, but the, the whole, if that, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but it's, it carries like this, but because the strap itself is angled all the way down the bag, it sits like a cross body sling. So what do you need to know about that beyond? You've got very tiny branding right here it says air it's a little rubber tag and that is it no frills no attachment points no craziness with this sling that is it okay so you've got three pockets that you need to know about on this sling pocket number one right up top here is a really nice felt lined pocket it's a sunglasses pocket i've got a wallet in there airpods in there pocket pocket knife, pocket tool in there. Um, it goes from about here. So is the outline of the pocket, right? Like that, okay? About an iPhone um, Pro Max sized drop pocket. All right, next up, we have this main compartment, okay? Nothing on the inside of the front pocket. So that makes the show all about the back pocket here, okay? So first off, you've got a drop pocket down here, right? I've got my gimbal in the drop pocket. Then you've got two pockets, one mesh, one non-mesh, both stretchy. I've got my DJI Osmo battery backup and um, my little tripod for my gimbal in there. You've got a little admin section here. I've got my air tag and flashlight and pen. Then over here, I've got my power brick, my two cords that I'm using right now. You've got another little pocket right here that goes really deep. You can see my whole hand down into this pocket um, with no issues. I've got dongles and SD cards and everything down in there. You also have a little key attachment point right there in that pocket. Then you have a tech sleeve right here that could be for documents or notepads. It could be for a tablet. Um, you can slip a tablet into there very easily. Let me show you that because I've got a tablet in pocket number three. This is a really nice plush foam lined uh, laptop compartment. I think it holds up to a 13 inch, but you can see I just dropped the iPad Pro 11 inch in, with a magic keyboard into this tablet sleeve, no issues. And this is a Surface 4 laptop that I'm dropping into the laptop compartment in the back. No issues. So do they both fit in there? No problem. 
okay? So, this bag is absolutely slick. It looks great. It feels great to carry. It is for a minimalist tech focus carry. Once you load it out with just these basics, and I know the film equipment isn't quite basic, but it's basic for me. Um, you don't have a lot of extra room. You're not gonna be tossing a jacket in here. You're not gonna be tossing a pair of shoes in here. You're not gonna be talk tossing you know, textbooks for college in here. You're not gonna be tossing your lunchbox in here. Um, so, it is what it is, and it's good at what it is. All right, two things that we like first about this bag. The first, two, the first thing that we really like about this bag is compartment number two. This tech loadout and admin panel inside the bag on this in the second main pocket is really, really nice. So you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets plus the drop pocket in this thing. Um, that's really, really nice. I'm a big fan of what they did there. The second thing that we're gonna say we really like is the sunglass pocket. It's really, it's foam lined, it's very cushioned, it's roomy, and it's exactly where you want it to be when you are carrying this bag and you swing the bag around. It's your easy, quick access. Drop in, get out, swing bag back, swing bag back, okay? So it's exactly where you would want it to be carrying this bag and it's really nice sized and it's really well cushioned. So. What do we like about this bag? Both things we liked were the pockets. The pockets are uh, really, really nice. And I gotta say, the laptop sleeve is nice too. So for a bag that is all about utility, having good pockets is important. So that's just stuff that you can love and know that you're gonna like it with this uh, sling. So two things we don't like so much about this bag. Okay, it's really hard. I gotta tell you, it's really hard because this is a great bag. Um, the first thing that we don't like is the inside of this pocket being empty. So I feel like they missed a trick here by not including just a bisected zippered pocket on the inside of here. Now the reason they didn't do that, I'm guessing, is the second thing that I don't like, which is that even when you fluff this bag out a little bit, even when you fluff it out, you're not getting more than this much space. This bag I think would have been perfect with just another two or three inches of fluff. If you've used the Day Pack 3, the Day Sling 3 Max, not the regular one, but the Max, you know what I'm talking about, that it crunches down on the bottom, but then when you want to expand it, you can kind of accordion out the bottom section and it gives you another little carry capacity I carry this gimbal very easily in the day pet in the day sling three max. It's really tight in here. Once I've got a, a laptop or a tablet in this compartment and a couple of other things, it starts to get really tight and there's just not a lot of give. Um, so the two things I would change about this bag, a little bit more give, maybe another two inches of space here. Um, and then I would put a, a pocket on the inside here. The grab handle is really nice. The strap is really nice. The materials are super premium. And the price point is actually not bad for this bag. So, overall recommendation, the, the Tech Sling 2 from Air, should you buy it? The answer is yes, you absolutely should buy it, with one caveat. It won't be too long, I don't think, before they come out with an X-Pack version, of this bag or they uh, come out with uh, sling number three version number three of this bag which may include a max and if it does that's the better buy so you may be asking yourself you've talked about a lot of other air slings which one is the best the day sling the tech sling the travel sling which one is the best I'm glad you asked that question I'm making that video just for you in just a week or so so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see that air sling comparison video, uh, turn on notifications and you'll be the first to know. Everybody, thank you so much. Great to see you, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.